Today's videos are the last two videos I'm filming before I start my new job. Wish me luck, guys. Although by the time you're seeing this, I'll have been there quite a bit. <laughs> Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Johnny Tsunami. Johnny Tsunami is a 1999 Disney Channel original movie. It's directed by Steve Boyum. Cinematography by David Hennings. Editing by Craig Bassett. Music by Phil Marshall. And it's written by Ann Austin and Douglas Sloan. Steve, David, Phil, and Douglas. I've all covered in previous videos. They'll be listed in the link to the description. Craig Bassett is best known for Empire of the Sun, Raging Bull, The Color Purple, and The Goonies. Ann Austin is best known for Barbie Dreamhouse Adventures, The Snowy Day, Power Rangers, Ninja, Power Rangers Ninja Storm, and this. The film stars Brandon Baker, Carrie Hiroyuki Tagawa, Mary Page Keller, Yuji Okamoto, and Lee Thompson Young. Brandon Baker plays Johnny Capahala and Mary Page Keller plays Melanie and I've covered both of them in previous videos so be listening to the link to the description. Carrie Hiroyuki Tagawa plays Johnny Tsunami and is best known for Mortal Kombat, Planet of the Apes, License to Kill, and Tekken. Yuji Akimoto plays Pete and is best known for Pearl Harbor, Inception, Karate Kid Part 2, and this. Lee Thompson Young plays Sam and is best known for Rizzoli and Isles, The Hills Have Eyes 2, The Famous Jet Jackson, and Friday Night Lights. I believe it was filmed in Utah. I couldn't find any like solid source on that but it seems to at least the snowy parts the skiing and snowboarding were filmed in utah and aubrey page that woman who did the article for i believe it was collider where she ranked the 100 dcoms in 2016 when the 100th was coming out she ranked this one at number 30 and claimed it to be uh, Disney Channel's peak year of Disney Channel original movies, 1999. I don't think I've ever seen this movie all the way through. I definitely saw pieces of it growing up, but I did not remember a very good chunk of this. I did not remember that he moved to a wintry place and had to snowboard. I thought the movie was all about surfing, but I was very wrong. <laughs> so I definitely didn't see some of it. The film has very, very good parts of it and parts that are not so great. It's not the best written and the stunt doubles are unforgivable. The stunt doubles are blatantly white old older men and it is um, excruciating how obvious it is. Like they're not even in a wig, they're not like nothing to help hide the fact that they are not Brandon Baker and the rest of the crew. Um, and that really took me out of the narrative a lot because it wasn't even like I was looking for that. It was blatantly like, oh, that is not Brandon Baker, which like is fine. Brandon Baker didn't have to learn a snowboarder to do this, but they couldn't find a snowboarder or a surfer that looked even remotely similar. Like, I get it. It's fine. You had to find very talented people at that respective sport, whether it was surfing or snowboarding or skiing or whatever. But it was just like blatantly obvious and that really took me out of the narrative a lot. I would be like, yo, I like can't even care about the tricks they're doing because I'm so distracted by the fact that it was just blatantly not them. The first 20 minutes were a little bit like rough story-wise, but then the last chunk of the film was well done. I mean, I cried. I cried watching the movie. So like I enjoyed it. The representation in this movie, we absolutely love and love to see it. There's a lot of conflict going on in this movie, which was made it very interesting. I love how complicated the stories are getting. It's not like super basic anymore. I love that there's a dynamic between Johnny and his grandfather, a dynamic between Johnny and his mom, a dynamic between Johnny and his dad, a dynamic between Johnny and the kids at Skyline, and a dynamic between Johnny and his best friend Sam, and then also Johnny and the urchins from the public school. So there's so many dynamics surrounding Johnny and they all have storylines. Him and Sam are growing as best friends and Sam, you know, his mother is dead. There is a parent death. Sam is the main character. So I'm absolutely counting his mom being dead. Um, and his dad is a soldier. So they move around a lot. And then Johnny having to deal with his relationship with his dad being so awful because his dad won't let him, you know, be happy and enjoy his passions and just wants him to be someone he isn't. And then his mom, trying very hard to love and accept Johnny for who he is while also simultaneously fighting up against her husband being like, you know, what are you doing? Why aren't you accepting our son? And then obviously Johnny looks very much up to his grandfather who knows he isn't perfect 
but loves that relationship with his grandson, obviously. And then not only is he dealing with all this family drama, but on top of it, he's dealing with the fact that he's going to this very prestigious private school that his dad now works at, and everyone there kind of freaking hates him. And But he's becoming really good friends with the kids that go to the public school, and there's this whole rival rivalry between the public school kids and the Skyline kids, which feels very classist, and I think that was the point. And uh, they, like, divided, the, you know, there's segregation involved a little bit, like, you know. And it was very interesting to have that much complications going on in a Disney Channel original movie like this. I loved the outcome. I liked how it was handled. I'm a little mad that Brett, I believe his name was, the evil, like, leader kid from Skyline, didn't, like, super learn his lesson and become, like, a little nice. I'm a little upset that he just, like, lost and, like, stormed off and was like, fine, whatever, I guess we're sharing the hill. Literally no adult in this film. Like, it's Johnny Tsunami, the grandfather, and the mom are the two most sane adults in this movie. Every other adult in this movie is absolute garbage. His dad is awful, and he learns. We have some character development, which we love to see, but it's a little bit abrupt, but it's not necessarily unbelievably abrupt like it's like the things are brought to him and it slams him and he realizes so i'm not mad that his character development was abrupt but it was abrupt nonetheless which is a little bit like ooh, jarring but the other adults yikes i cried a couple times i think i cried when the grandfather and the dad had a heart-to-heart -heart moment and then like i dropped a tear and then when Johnny and his dad had their moment where they were like starting to understand each other and there was a breakthrough and his dad said, the older you get, the harder it is to apologize. And he apologizes, like that's huge. And it was so good. Um, so I cried there too, because it's very important for, at least in my opinion, for parents to apologize to their kids. So I would say I enjoyed it. That's everything I have for Johnny Tsunami. I'm gonna give this five snowboards out of no surfboards five surfboards out of ten our total movie count is our parent death toll is our cry count is if you want to keep up with the movie i'm watching when follow me on instagram and twitter you'll find out what movie i'm watching when i put up videos every monday and friday and sometimes wednesday Join Patreon. There is a tier starting at just $1 a month if you just want to head over there and support me. And benefits do come with that tier, so just go check it out. Buy merch. Seriously, come on. It's adorable. I have a castle on the back. Come on. It's cute. You should buy it. Until next time, comment, like, and subscribe. But I'm not in charge of your life. You are, so you do you. And don't be Brett about it. Ooh. The next movie, I get to rip to shreds.